Alright guys, it's Nick here, and uh, doing another review for Crap Cinema Central. Uh, sorry that um, I haven't done a review uh, in a while. Um, I've been obviously doing a lot of other things on my other channel, uh, doing the Alphabet of Awesome movies. And um, also, it's like uh, the few times I've sat down and watched a crappy movie ready for review, either the movie's not been crap enough, or um, I just haven't really found a way of reviewing it properly. So I've been like having a hard time, but I mean I've got loads and loads of films I could review. I do, just like at the time I was in the mood for reviewing like one of a couple of films, and I don't know I might come back for them at a certain point because and get through some of my other crap because uh, I've got plenty of it. Anyway, um, today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Fireback, which is a uh, 1983 Filipino action shitfest starring the man himself, king of Filipino action shitfests, um, Richard Harrison. He done, you know, several uh, movies over there, and um, also I think a few, um, uh, maybe I think a few in China as well. But um, he's done like loads and loads of cheapy, nasty shit action films and ninja films, and also this also stars Bruce Barron, who is also game being in a lot of Filipino shit. Uh, if you like your Filipino action flicks, uh, it's probably going to be up your street. Um, I mean, mega, mega low budget, real bad dubbing, um, bad sound effects, bad acting, bad editing, bad quality, um, just bad. But that's what we like on this channel. <laughs> and then, yeah, then Fireback is definitely for you. Um, basically, the plot of the movie is um, Richard Harrison plays a character called Jack Kaplan, and he's a weapons expert. And he's out in somewhere, um, probably Vietnam. Uh, then I'm not entirely sure. Is it says on the uh, well, it says on the back, yeah, Viet Cong. So obviously Vietnam, um, demonstrating this weapon that can do everything. It's like the Swiss Army knife of guns. I mean, this thing is massive. It's got a machine gun on it, a shotgun on it, a bazooka on it, a rocket launcher on it, uh, missile launcher on it, grenade launcher. Um, you know, it just spins around on tubes. Uh, it's an absolutely ridiculous gun. With a built-in radio, automatic rifle, and this is a grenade launcher. A bazooka. And this is a mini-missile. Uh, while he's out there demonstrating this gun to these soldiers, uh, they get ambushed um, and uh, he ends up getting uh, rescued, but they believe that he gets presumed missing in action or dead. Um, so meanwhile, while he's, kept, while he's not on the scene, um, his wife gets kidnapped. Then when he returns, he goes home and discovers that his wife's been kidnapped and then goes on a killing spree. Um, trying to find what's happened to his wife basically that's the basic gist of it um it's a lot of fun is sometimes with these filipino action flicks they can get a bit dull a bit slow um i mean you can never watch like two or three of them in a row but you know they for what they are they're, they're great fun if you like bad movies then i highly recommend getting into this sort of filipino shit because it is really cool stuff um this one you say is pretty much action the whole way through um Got some really quite bizarre characters in it. Uh, there's one, one, one of the villains is uh, called the Man with the Golden Hand, and it's this dude with his plastic golden hand, and he's like slap people about with it. Um, it starts oh, awful, uh, but funny. Uh, being a Richard Harrison movie, you've got to have ninjas, and yeah, it's got a couple of ninja bits. Uh, even Harrison himself ninjas up in one part, which is really cool. Uh, Bruce Barron is the villain, and he's he's good, a good villain. Um, Basically, some of the shots when, like, you blatantly know who the villain is the whole way through the movie, but they and they still like obscure the shots. So like, there'd be shots of him talking, and it'd be a plant in the way, or like a uh, shot for a grate in a wall. I swear that uh, some of the locations that are like double used. Like, I swear there's there's one scene where um, like the villain is like talking, and you're it's being filmed through the grate. Then the next scene, uh, they're filming uh, Richard Harrison in a room, and I swear that the room he's in is the same room we were just looking at through the grate a few seconds uh, previous but complete, supposed to be a completely different location uh, there's a few random scenes in there that make no sense whatsoever um, I mean like the dialogue the dialogue is pretty much Richard Harrison walking around going where's my wife, oh, someone's kidnapped my wife um, 
pretty much the whole way through. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's absolutely hilarious. Some of the sound effects are quite bizarre, especially some of like, the, the gun shots and stuff. Some of them sound pretty realistic, and other ones just sound like, what was that? Uh, when people get strangled, you get this like, kind of crackly sound. Um, but yeah, it's great fun. And here's the tagline here. Um, they thought he was dead and killed his wife, but he came home for revenge. So yeah, it kind of ruins it really. Yeah, his wife does get killed. Um, she's kidnapped for the first part and then she gets killed. Um, but yeah, you kind of gather that, so I'm not ruining it too much. But yeah, overall, um, if you're into your Filipino action shit, then I highly recommend Flyback. Um, it's really cool. It's one I wasn't aware of actually until um, I saw it on eBay, 99p, still sealed on tape. So I ordered a copy, and then the same day, uh, Ben the Movie Assassin uh, posted up on Facebook that he'd been to a car boot, and he picked up a copy of it. Uh, I checked out the trailer on YouTube, and I was like, this is my kind of shit, and it arrived really quickly. Um, so yeah, I got it, and sat and watched it this afternoon, and really pleased I watched it. So yeah, that is uh, Fireback, I'm Dyslexic Nick, this is Craps in the Mile Central. Um, Hopefully, you know, everyone will be posting up more videos, so we're doing quite well. Um, if you want to sub, if you haven't subbed already, please do it. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, keep keep subbing, keep promoting the channel. Uh, There's some cracking reviews from some brilliant people. And I'm waffling, so yeah, see you later, guys. Bye. Check out Fireback. Have you seen my wife? Oh, no, I haven't. She hasn't been around for quite some time.